Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Patty, and oh my god, we've got an amazing game today. Wow. Now, this is Eve Online, the table game. And what in the hell? Now, I, if you know me, I've not got one IP board game. I think IPs are wasted when they come to board games, and it's a, just a quick gimmick to get a, a theme on. That doesn't really work. They don't tie any of the IP to the thing. Blah, blah, blah. If you've got an IP game and you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. That would be nice to hear. Anyway, CCP have obviously worked so closely with the devs here to get all of this so thematic pulling from the game that I am so excited for. I, I played E for almost nine years in the past. I love the PvE Sisters of Eve campaign in the game, and wow, it looks really good, this. It's basically a 4X game in two hours. We're talking, like, amazing combat, how it works. It's so deep. I love it. I love that the combat goes on between the turns of everybody at the table. There's so much goodness here, and I'll tell you, there's a surprising thing that's happening on this Kickstarter that you will fully be, oh my goodness, really? So let's go down, let's have a look. <clears throat> now, I must, add, I must admit the campaign is in flux at the minute because of um, something that's happened. That They, they were showing this at um, Gen Con, and they were using a really big version of the board. Now, so the board that you're looking at here is the one in this box here. And I'll talk about the big stuff as we go down. I don't want it to kind of drown the video out. But anyway, what you're going to get here is all of these miniatures for the four factions, the four main factions of the game. This is going to be great. Now, they do have a stretch goal to add in more asynchronicity between the peeps here. And that's going to be great. Everybody wants that. We want to see some something between these, you know, like the Mimitar ship should be going faster, the Amar should be quicker, and um, the Galante should be like a hybrid of them all, and uh, all this stuff. Um, when I first played EVE, I was Mim Mimitar, and then I switched over to the Amar, <laughs> and uh, all that good stuff. Anyway, that's, that's way historical thing, the fact that I used to play this game. I think the board looks absolutely fantastic. I, I think here we're looking at like almost mid to end game here where um, everyone's built their ships and stuff like that. Because when you start the game, you've got no, sh you've, I think you've got two ships, sorry. And then you're going to start off your, um, your engine ba basically is going to start cooking. So as you, as you, the board, it's going to be completely um, black when you start. And as you explore out there, you'll unturn the tiles and the tiles are going to offer you opportunities to build there or mine there to get um, resources. These resources are going to come to your board and you're going to, they're going to help you do research, going to help you do construction. They're going to help you do a manner of things. Building ships is going to be the big one, of course, and all that goodness. And also, as you explore... Um, whatever you're unturning on the board will might affect your game at the beginning because you might switch to a certain type of start if you're getting bigger bonuses in one resource over the other and things like this. Um, when I say two hours, I'm looking at it like a, a two-hour game with maybe three people. And I'm hoping there's going to be like some kind of two versus one player where you can buff up somebody, and I think there's going to be an expansion where that could be possible, but we'll see. But yeah, it's definitely 4X. You are going to be exploring the map that you don't know. You don't, you're you going to be expanding your territory, yes, because you need to put your territorial um, claims on, the, on space, and you're going to be exploiting the economy and technology, absolutely. The technology is going to be great as well, because it's hidden technology when you're doing it. Your opponents don't know what you're doing. And um, a lot of these technologies are going to be offering ways to not only construct bigger ships, but to actually double down on the ships that you're making and make them like more incredible with better abilities and potentially up the tier of the ship, meaning they are even better than, than zero tier. Because when you bang them out, they're just tier zero. And there's two tiers of ships, I believe, that you can that will update their card, basically, and make them stronger. 
is a nice one that's been unlocked. The Pink Keep Star. Um, I vaguely remember this getting built in, in EVE. It was like a giant structure that had to get made. It's, it's going to get used to flip the tiles over, so this is fantastic. I don't know why it went pink, though. <laughs> Maybe it's a paint me as soon as you get me kind of thing. I don't know. Um, so in the core, the core, then, you get some incredible ships that are all faithful to the game. They look absolutely fantastic. They look like they've come straight from the game's assets as well. This long apocalypse. I'm telling you now, I can't wait to paint these so they look accurate to the ones in the game because it's so, so cool. Uh, it's also been confirmed we're going to get clear bases for these models as well. So this is going to be fantastic. I love it. Now then, you can see that um, the, it's got 500 cards this game and a lot of the cards are unique to the um, Empire that you're running in, in, well, and you know, but uh, faction, I should really say. And um, there's going to be more asynchronousy between the ships as well. This is like a stretch goal to, to put more theme on, on it, which is going to be really, really good. Um, I, I really do like that. I love how the cards have unique art on them. They've got like an artist from CCP or some kind of super fan who does all the art for CCP to do the art for the cards and it just looks incredible. We're talking about unique art on maybe all the ships basically that you're seeing yeah, and all these great you know, development cards that you're seeing, the Amar ships and they look fabulous, don't they? So th this has been a, a, a labour of love then for the dev team and to make this game look absolutely thematically like Eve and it looks phenomenal. Watch any playthrough and you will be getting, oh my god, this looks so good. Uh, four mineral types, there's one super rare, I think it's the red one and that will be for the bigger ships. So that's going to be four over on the map when that gets discovered. Um, these player boards... Um, the one thing I don't like about the playboards is the pictures of the people on them. I would have preferred to see the capital cities for the factions in the back. But um, I, they said they're, just, they're, they're happy with this, but that's my only real complaint about it. But when you start anyway, you've, you've got these actions on the left that you can do. You can even double down on some of them to do two things at once. But... Um, um, <clears throat> Sometimes, you know, you, you don't have the minerals, so you won't be building. You won't have, the, you won't have certain stuff to do, do any action, so you'd be locked down to just a few. So uh, The board is cool as well. When you expand into a space as well where it's got three ores, it basically locks two of the ores off until you've got technology to actually go do deeper mining in that zone. <clears throat> so it's really cool how they, they've allocated the, the mining under research. I think that's your home connection, basically, yeah. All right. Um, bunch of tokens, like some custom dice. I think it would be great if we could get some add-ons for custom dice for each of the races. That would be fantastic to get that. Throw these away. Get, <laughs> get the colors of the factions and all that stuff. Anyway, when I first came down here, I'm like, where are the Titans? And here they are, they're in an expansion. These are the giant ships that take a massive organization to build. They are huge. And you'll notice here, they can be assembled during play sessions. So uh, if you look at them closely, you can pull these apart. Like, do you build these like you do in the game where you build the main husk and then you, you add things on it to make it bigger? That's super curious. You get these new... <laughs> You get these new tiles and it looks like you've got to build four parts of it. So maybe it is assembled during gameplay. That's going to be awesome source. I'm still waiting for the update specifically on Titans and that is definitely coming. But this is going to sit where your home base is. Um, so yeah, the board will get a little bit extended when you put these on. And you'll notice that the board gets extended... And I think it looks lovely when it's so big now, <clears throat> really getting into it. <clears throat> and the Titan have their own tech cards as well. Fantastic. 
and they've brought some Titan art cards, why not? You can see the beautiful white and gold, like almost bronze coloured paint that goes on the Amar ships, I love it. And all that stuff, it's just going to be so cool to paint these. <clears throat> Right, Havoc, these are a pirate faction, and um, I really hope these are buffed so that players can um, team up to fight them. That's what my hope is, because they're a real pain in the arse. And, um... So yeah, these, these guys are not really going to be doing the normal stuff. They are trying to put some kind of um, corruption across the map, and really getting people's ways and stuff like that, but um, these are going to be difficult to contend with as well because there is an expansion for these to get their Titan 2. And look at that beast! Oh, it looks so good. You can see the colours in the box, what that might come if you paint it. Really, really good. Again, there's four parts of it that you need to build, and if you look at just look at that, it needs eight something. Don't know what that is. This is Credits are ISK, it needs two material construction materials and five planetary resources just to build one part of that deathless. So you can see it, these are kind of deep, you can't, these are going to take many turns to build these, but when they come out they're going to boss the map, big time. That's going to be epic. Oh my goodness me. They're doing in the packs um, a EVE Online, they're giving you some EVE Online stuff. <laughs> Starter pack, bronze pack. I think Eve Online would be incredibly successful if they did a PVE server and just got rid of the pirate PVE players because they really slow the game down if you're PVEing. You know, you can go through this sector and it will take you five jumps, or you can take a 32 jump all the way around the fecking system, which will take 45 minutes just because it's player PVP camping at gates. So, you know, I would 100% go back to EVE if there was a PVE server. <clears throat> I don't know why they just don't do it, you know. You know, I guess the game is not dying yet, and when it does, they'll, they'll switch. I don't know. Now, the early birds um, have gone now, and it was only $5 off, so that's nothing to shake about, really. <clears throat> and you can get all of it. Look at the price, man. 220 euros. That is such good value. The amount of minis you're getting here is insane. It's so good. Now, prepare yourself for the Capital Mega Box. Hell yeah. We're going to go up to an update and look at this because this is going to blow your mind. Oh my god. <clears throat> this makes everything bigger. And you get bigger minis. And you need a big table. Do you have a big table? I have a big table. It's 1.6 meters square, my table. <laughs> Will it fit the 1.6 meter square table? Well, we'll see when we go up because it tells you... <laughs> It does tell you. Anyway, um, lots of people are sitting on $1 pledge and uh, waiting to hear news because we're going to hear from the updates if it's possible to add in the expansion boxes. Because you can't go 200% and not have Titan ships. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> and if you want the pirate um, factions, they aren't at 200% yet. Not even as a collector's piece. So... You know, if you put Titans in here, what's it going to go up to? 500 with Titans? Well, let's try and look at what it might cost. <laughs> so the 200% the doesn't have the Titan expansion or Havoc or the Azrael expansion. If this is going to go bigger, they're going to be like... Let's just say double. So Titan could be 90 euros. Like a $100 box if it's 200%. Then the Havard and the Azrael will probably go $100. So it could be like a $600 game if it's this big. That's insane. Especially, <laughs> especially when you can get it all for 220 And then it will jump to 600 if it's big. I think that's what's exciting, people. 
<laughs> this big stuff. Ah, okay, I'm getting too excited. Now, I definitely get some extra dice the way the combat works. You're going to be um, opposite sides of the board, so you're definitely going to need an extra dice set. But, um, on the $1 pledge, perhaps they will bring out some dice and uh, all that good stuff. And, of course, it's, it's like a mystery how much shipping is going to be, especially if you get this big box. Now, the collector's box, these are 200% ships, and they're just the ships... I guess, for people to paint. Or maybe you're coming on here and you don't want the game, but you just want a collector's box of the ships from EVE. That's pretty much what this is. You're already getting this in the 200% box thingy, midjiggy wiggy. Anyway. Uh, stretch goals, these are gonna be great to replace the tokens you get, the punch board tokens. Box is getting upgraded, lovely. System tiles, getting some new ones for v replayability. Great. <clears throat> Event cards, bring it on, baby. Unlocked. Yes. What I <laughs> love about this is these events are based on real EVE Online experiences. Are you kidding me? This is exciting as heck. Even people that didn't play EVE, they love hearing the stories that are going on in the game because it was just so amazing. And this is thrilling that we're getting these event cards. This is going to be fantastic for the game. Uh, more models. This is great to see them. Thicker cards. We're going uh, white core. That, I think that's the biggest, isn't it? Isn't it? And uh, control flags. These are going to be good as well. These are basically just replacing everything in the, uh, in you know what, the punch board. Dedicated inlays, this is going to be fantastic. Mineral models, wow, I love all this attention to detail. It's fabulous that they're kicking this out, and hopefully they'll unlock this stuff, and we'll see more things happening. Now, um, Captain Benzie, he's an EVE player. Definitely, definitely watch this guy if you want to know how it runs. He really slows down combat, so you, you can see how it works. It's really, really detailed and could, it, very, very um, compelling, fair, and um, absolutely wonderful. I love the combat that they brought into the game. Um, Dice Tower's um, also a good one. This one is a little bit on the speedy side, though, so take your time if you go down there. It's, you know, choose your poison, as I always say. All right. You don't know what's on the top. You flip it over. You Do you want to do uh, things on the tile? Yes, I do. you got to claim the tile so it's part of your federation. Federation. Do it, is it that? <laughs> We're in Star Trek here. <laughs> All right, there you go. The hidden research and your plumbing research things on then to take over to, to unlock the thing that you've been secretly developing. That's really cool. You notice the thing that they've actively developed is going to build medium hulls on the ships. So this is going to increase health and stuff like that. So this is really good. And you notice on this um, development card tile that they've got here, you've got T1 and two, Tier 2 systems here. That's going to upgrade the ships to make them even better as well. So... and. You know, it's not just let's get into the game and build the big ships. You still need the smaller ships as support because they're going to help target paint the big ships or um, aim, get the aim on them so your bigger ships can do the big damage. So that's why you're kind of bringing all these ships to support the big ships that they really kind of help the combat. So this is, this is why everything you build is going to really going to get used. Uh, they have this strike from Orbit. Um, just very quickly, you've got to roll your dice so that it goes, so that you can aim and get a lock on. Because depending on how fast the ship is, it might be harder to actually lock on. Once you've got the lock on, you've then got to do the black dice. They're going to push out the damage, and the damage has to go past the. They call it reduction here, but I, I'm seeing it as shields in my own mind so if you get past the reduction then you can apply the rest of it as damage 
And if you do a lot of damage, you can rip through one ship and then straight through the next ship. So if you get a really good roll, you might do a catastrophic attack, which could burn um, through ships. So that's really awesome to see. You can kind of see the translucent ships in this video, which is cool. Uh, they do have some shipping here. Capital is the big fat boy. Rest of the world, 180. <laughs> it almost sounds like this is going to be like an $800 gain if I go big. <laughs> or you do 300 euros and you get the small one. Anyway, what am I super excited about? I have to weigh that up, of course. That'd be two months of saving if I was going to do that for my collection, I guess. Anyway. Let's jump to this update. And 200%. Look at the medium board and then the big board. Are you kidding me? Look at the table size. It's 128 by 116 centimeters. It'll fit on my 1.6. This is why I'm getting so giddy about it. It just looks amazing. It looks like some of these ships as well have had some kind of brushing on there, and they are talking about bringing this in to um, add it on, but I don't know if I want to do that. I, I'd want, if I get these big ships as well, I'd want to paint it to look like the Amar ships, because as, as good as the yellow is, it can be uh, more true to its own colour, because when you put all the ships together anyway, they have their own unique skin from that race, so... Um, I keep calling them race from that faction. <laughs> anyway, this is just going to have an amazing, amazing table presence. It's going to be like a massive night of 4X. And if you've got four players, it's going to reach like three hours. But it's going to just look so majestic on the table. And wow, this is what Eve's about is the massive ship battles. And you're going to get it here with the XL size. <sighs> That's why I'm so... That's why I might have to save up for this, you know? <laughs> and uh, I think we, you can see here a, a mouse to give you a, a little bit of an example of how big these ships are. <laughs> I mean, how big's the Titan when it comes out? It's going to be... Eight. Oh, my God! The Titan's going to look epic when you construct that beast on this big thing. It's just so gloriously fantastic. There you go, the start of the game. You've got all your... <laughs> Look, it's like a 1.6. <clears throat> it's like a 1.6 by 1.4, this is it. Where it only just fits on the table. I don't know. Anyway. That's why it's so exciting. And we've got a picture of what the box looks like. Look how big it is. Oh my god. God, are you kidding me? Now, there is some concerns <laughs> that there's not going to be enough people pledging for this. And they've said, no, they're only going to do one print run of this. They've confirmed it with the factory. It's going to be 400 euros. So let, let's hope the Titan comes and we'll have to see if the pirate faction gets done and that can be added. But wow. Dude, that, that is, this is going to be like an epic thing. <laughs> All right, peeps, there we go. I've said my piece on Eve, Wharf, and Eve, Eden. We are all waiting. And when I say we are all waiting, there's a lot of people in the comments. There's a lot of people $1 pledging, waiting for this. I'm part of the crowd that wants to know more about the 400. I keep calling it 400. The 200 XL version of it. And we are going to be party time because this is going to celebrate the IP and it's going to celebrate a fantastic, fantastic implementation of an IP pushing so much of it across the whole game. And it just looks fantastic, peeps. I don't know about you. Would you prefer <sighs> Twilight Imperium 4, an 8-hour 4X, or this, which just looks the bomb? And uh, it's quicker, half the time, if not less. With an easy teach 
as well. It's not complicated. It just looks awesome, peeps. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Am I absolutely bat crazy getting this giant box? It's, it's going to be the, like the most expensive Kickstarter I've ever done. I, I think my max is maybe $500, but that big one will be pushing that on it. Inflation and all that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you can tell I'm in love with this project and I'm definitely, definitely, definitely be going on $1 pledge so that when that big box goes on the pledge manager, I can see how much the shipping really is because it does look huge, does, doesn't it? Anyway, peeps, <gasps> I was so excited for this. 24 days as well, so there's lots of updates to come down. I'll probably come back through my final thoughts if they, uh, well, when they announce stuff, and we'll have more information on the Titan gameplay and the pirate gameplay and all that good stuff. Well, peeps, <gasps> thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Lipstick Paddy. This is Kickstarter Radio 1 or 2.4. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing and all that good jazz. And uh, yeah, you take care, stay safe, and bye-bye for now.